Good morning, Baltimore. I'm trying to do my French plaits this morning and I just am really struggling. They look like horny at the top. They look like little horns. Um, but how does that look from the back, Grace? Because I never get to see it, obviously. So this is what it looks like. To be fair, other than the little horny horns right here, it's okay. I'm quite impressed. I've never seen one on the back. It doesn't look that bad. I really wish, it's funny because when I was younger, I remember my friends at school having French plaits and I would always be so jealous because no one in my family could do them because my mum's got short curly hair. So I've always wanted to have like really good French plaits or like Dutch braid or fish, fishtail plaits. Ow, fishtail plaits and I've never been able to. And I still haven't really got French plaits down if I'm honest with you. They're still not one hunter. Anyway, um, good morning, how are we? Is anyone else's skin gone complete opposite? So I used to have, well, you all know, I used to have really bad, like, spotty skin. Um, I still haven't getting, like, a few spots and whatnot. So we've come 360 and the acne is back in action. Actually, on the MacBook, it's kind of burned them out, but you can see. It was just a phase, the dry skin. <laughs> the spots are back. But I feel like my skin has had a 360 and now my skin is super dry. Which is so weird, and I'm wondering if being inside has had an effect on that. But then, it just goes to show that pollution, maybe, was playing a big part in my acne. Today is another day. Um, I really, I have a few things I want to really achieve today. I woke up and I was like, I know today's not going to be a productive day, and I don't want it to be a write-off. So instead of me just killing time by like being on my phone because I'm trying to edit and then I don't get anything done, what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually gonna make a list of things we can achieve on this vlog instead. So it's not like a complete, because you can't be productive all the time. I just, I have to accept it and you just have to kind of like. And relaxing and unwinding and having downtime is part of being productive, because to be able to be productive, you need to have the downtime. Give yourself a to-do list of other things that are still things you can achieve, if you see what I mean. But maybe they're not work or whatever. Edit, there's one daily vlog that I need to edit, which I'm gonna do. But I just don't think I, I'm, in, I'm not in the right place or the right frame of mind to edit a main channel video. Basically, Pret have released their peanut uh, almond butter chocolate cookie recipe. I really want to make those, but I don't have almond butter, so I'm going to use peanut butter, which I think will be good anyway. I really need to sort my room out. I've also started trying to start a scrapbook. If you watched the other vlog, you'll know that I had a bit of a printing catastrophe, one could say. These plats. This is not happening. Also, can you tell me some of your fave YouTubers in isolation, please? Um, who have I been watching? I've been watching Sophia and Chintzia. I'm at home. I just want my hair out of my face. That's the main thing. I was just about to start editing and I opened my laptop and I remembered what I was up to before I went to bed last night. I was looking at hampers because there are two people that I really want to send hampers to. But I was really struggling because I was like, I don't know what... I don't know what they'd want in a hamper because you know like I would love a fruit hamper I have always wanted a fruit hamper mainly because of Disney Channel I think it was sunny with a chance one of them got sent like thousands of fruit baskets oh my gosh I, what I would do for a fruit basket I was like oh my gosh I don't know what it is about a fruit basket they just I've never had one and it just I just feel like how fun would that be having loads of like exotic fruits anyway but then I think, would anyone else like a fruit basket? I'm not sure. What hamper could I give someone? I mean, Fortnum and Mason have some nice ones, but I feel like you don't get much in there. I'm actually gonna have to discuss with Chloe because I think Chloe would help me come from a different point of view. Cause I, I want a fruit basket now. I might sell myself one. Can I sell myself one or is that a bit? Hi, so I've been having a bit of a pickle this morning. I'm not gonna lie. I have spent, <laughs> a long time trying to sort out these hampers um particularly trying to find a cream tea one i found about 12 and every time what's annoying is, is once i've entered all the details you get to it and then they say like we're sold out okay back to square one so i haven't actually managed to find that one as of this far but i need a break so i'm gonna make these prepped cookies okie dokie i would say i'm gonna half this recipe though purely because if it if i don't like it then i don't want to have all the ingredients go to waste so for this scrubbing that i'm doing one of the sections is you have to write out your favorite quarantine recipe like what's the recipe 
that you've really been enjoying making or something you want to try during quarantine. Um, and I'm so intrigued if you've got any recipes into during quarantine. Quarantine. Because I feel like everyone's been baking at the moment. So I'm, I'd be, I would love to know. I'd be so intrigued. Oh, I didn't know that. That was very, very hard. Okay. The two things I'm changing is instead of doing almond butter, I'm doing peanut butter. And instead of doing coconut oil, I'm doing dairy-free butter. I just love cookies. I think they are the ultimate sweet treat. I love them so much. Now we roll it into little balls and place it on the baking tray. Here they are. It made eight, which is funny because they said their recipe would make eight, but I'm putting them in the oven now for eight to 10 minutes. I know it just went off and we're gonna see. It's, it's something, man. Ooh, what an interesting texture. Okay, so the cookies look like the washing machine is popping off. It's such an attention sink. Oh my gosh. So this is what they look like. They look kind of fab, actually, if I'm honest with you. Look at that puppy. Ooh, yeah. I'm just gonna put them in the tub. Great, I hope they taste great, because that would be such a disappointment. I need to plan what we're having for lunch. It's about quarter past 12, I'm getting a bit peckish. Also, someone said, oh my gosh, this girl, or this girl shows what she eats. Because there is nothing else going on with my day. Do you just want three hours worth of footage of me editing? I think not. To be moments some guac, salmon, toast. A taste test of the prep one. Quite nice. Lovely. <coughs> so we just watched the Kardashians and it's wild because imagine being at the point in your life when you've got so much money to throw a party for the fact that you just had eye surgery. Eye surgery alone, wild. On top of that, they spent like, how much do you reckon were those eye balloons were? <laughs> Madness and that house. Maybe it's hundred quid. Probably more than a hundred. I reckon mm. one eyeball balloon. Fifty. I reckon they get like high quality ones. What a what a different life they lead. After watching the Kardashians, I'm now gonna make a Dundee cake. I think we normally. I don't know what recipe we normally make, but Mum has been banging on about us making a Dundee cake for Dad. Don't really know why she's got it in her head that Dad really wants a fruit cake for some reason. So I'm going to type in, this is how I always find my recipes, Dundee cake, best recipe ever. And it normally comes through clutch. Hi guys, what's occurring? I'm going to be honest, I did a really long rambly introduction as to what I was doing next. But basically, I got a little bored, I wasn't really, I was kind of done all my work for the day. And I wanted to find something to do. And I obviously have been trying to do the scrapbook, but I don't have any printouts. So I thought I would just get stuck on in to the scrapbooking journey but by painting so that's the next bit once crocs are on and that can only mean one thing so can we just talk about how great swing ball is i've really been enjoying swing ball during isolation i'm just going to get started on my journal so as i said this is going to be my scrapbooking journal right here which i got given by noi publishing i've come into the studio because i think i'm gonna like paint something on the first page to like make it 2020 COVID. I'm going to mix up, I don't know if anyone else did this at school, I'm going to mix up some paint and what you do, I've got my little straw, um, yeah, oh I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting my life back, this is what I mean, I have to do things. People are always like, can't you ever just, do you ever just sit still? No. <laughs> to be honest with you, no I don't, I am very much, I have to do a million of my things. Let me show you what this is, do you know what this little sticker is right here? This is from my Simone Rocha show and they stuck them on my face. Yes, they did. Oh my gosh, throwback. I was such a wee young spring chicken. Who would have thought that I'd be here right now talking to you? Not me. Did not think my life would pan out this way, but here we are. Okay, so what you do is I have mixed together in here some soap, some water and a little bit of blue paint and you just get your page and I think, I hope this works, I can't remember the quantities. You blow, and it should pop and leave the print of the bubbles. Blue bubbles everywhere. I don't think it's gonna work. This is getting a bit out of hand, guys. I feel like I'm missing a step here. That's so annoying! Oh, I don't, I'm gonna have to rethink. I'm gonna have to rethink. I feel like a gradient blue effect, because we all know baby blue is my favorite color of all time. Blue, just, I love it. 
um, and I might do a little cloud with the word 20, uh, 2020 Corona and then some like a little sun printed out um, which could be nice. Okay so we're doing this little one that I found on Pinterest which should hopefully turn into something a little more beautiful than a few blobs of paint. So the white paint we have is absolutely shocking it's not acrylic it's just a ready mixed paint and it's really watery soaked <laughs> don't worry we're gonna work into it all right don't worry we're not finished here either you know in art when you used to be working on something and then you'd be like your teacher would walk around and be like i'm not finished all right let me work on it i'll actually show you some things i did last year actually looking at them now i kind of vibe this weird thing but how nice does that look on a wall I quite like them. They're done. My creative juice is now. Am I zoomed in? I feel like I keep accidentally zooming in. Hello guys. So just before the end of this vlog, I kind of want to speak to you, get your opinions on something that's kind of been confusing me lately. I'm always kind of fluctuating with where I want to go with this YouTube channel. I don't really think about what I post too much. I post what I'm really liking making at the moment and what... I don't know. It's kind of... I've never thought too deeply about it. Like I've never thought, oh that'll do really well in the views or whatever i don't really think much about it because i think if i live like that then i would become very unfulfilled by youtube very quickly I fluctuate massively sometimes i'm like maybe i'll just get a part-time job like doing something working in a bakery or something and then do youtube so i do both of them part-time maybe i'll stay full-time doing youtube maybe i'll just post like barely any ever on youtube and i'll get a job doing product development and i can I fluctuate all the time and I never know what to do with my life, basically. And I feel like that's so common among people when they've just come out of university. It's so hard to know what the route is that you can take. And I think on YouTube there's this like pressure to like get it right the first time because if not, you're screwed. When that's not really the case. That's a whole other video for another day about my... I don't know what to do with my life basically. Anyway, I have kind of been thinking with this extra channel because I, I literally don't have much to vlog. My days are very similar and I've kind of made this transition into like a daily vlog channel where I just post my day to day life. But during isolation, there is genuinely not anything happening. My days are so the same and I feel like the content's getting very repetitive and very boring. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making weekly vlogs that are kind of everything more condensed. So it's more fast paced, more exciting. And I'm gonna post them on my main channel because obviously a lot of my content that I would normally do where I'm out and about, I've kind of lost that. So I wanna put loads of love and care into the weekly vlogs and make them really fun for you guys. Cause I know a lot of you find my vlogs a bit of an escapism, that sort of thing. Um, I make them more of like an episode thing where it's like a bit longer instead of just like little short vlog, daily vlogs. Um, but I want to know your opinions on that and I think I would like to know what days and times I was thinking of posting on a Wednesday doing like a main channel type of vlog whatever that may be whether it's like a cooking or I don't know whatever I post on my main channel I really don't know getting a bit of a complex really because I just I don't know what the future is and it's really scary but at the same time I don't know <laughs> and the weekly vlogs on a Friday but I feel like people actually prefer vlogs being posted in the morning because then they can watch them when they're getting ready and just pottering around but I'm obviously normally post at 5 p.m so maybe we'll just have a complete shake-up I feel like it's the sort of shake-up that will help me with my day-to-day -day life because it'll be like oh and also it'll put purpose because I'll know I'm posting on Wednesday and Friday and then I can plan my week a bit better because at the moment there's no routine and I'm a sucker for routine so I feel like that will help a bit so please let me know your thoughts down below I love you all loads I hope you enjoyed this vlog peace out please let me know your thoughts what you think about like different channels I just